they made this really good today they made this just right with all that being said <laughs> this is stars with magic where we talk about the stars with magic i'm so glad i was able to find this spot right here this is beautiful and this is the perfect way to wrap up the moon sign series this beautiful garden-esque background okay so today did i do the intro already this is stars with magic where we talk about the stars with magic i'm magic and today we're talking about or right now we're talking about moon and pisces okay now i'd have to say number one my mom my mother has moon in pisces and essentially this is a very beautiful placement this is a very beautiful placement because pisces energy is a selfless energy it really is the sign that i associate with the spiritual realm okay so whereas aquarius represents the collective pisces represents the place where the physical and the spiritual realm intertwine now with that being said these people can be very intuitive all right we're talking about the moon here okay the moon is um it's a very powerful heavenly body it's um it is the first energy that we experience as living beings here on earth so our relationship with the moon is a lot more internal it's a lot more deep than any other placement in our chart okay so any any person's chart the moon sign is kind of where you'll see that true person's that person's true self their core their heart okay this usually has to do with the emotions this usually has to do with like the the life purpose when you really think about it and it also has to do with um like our relationship with our mother our our home life our our sense of um emotional well-being what satisfies us in life what do we need in life to feel fulfilled okay so the moon is a very powerful placement in a chart any chart and and relationship aspects with the moon are very important but anyways so with all that being said pisces as i said it's the it's the sign of the spiritual realm and so when we have moon here it's almost like these people's internal world are very is very are very focused on the spiritual okay um i'd have to say that my mom's whole life revolves around her relationship with god really <clears throat> And these people, they feel the most satisfied when they're giving to others. You know, when they're being selfless. When they're having to let go of their own personal desires to, to please or take care of or satisfy others. Others' needs. And um, so this is probably a great placement to have... In terms of like having a family member or a mother this is a very good placement however you've got to realize that when it comes to moon and pisces the way they nurture others is in a very piscean way and pisces itself as i said is very selfless so it doesn't have much of a self okay and so when this happens typically the way they think is they don't really have much of an ego that you know what in fact they really don't have an ego okay you'll be surprised these are the types of people that when you insult them when you hurt their feelings when you call them a name sometimes they just take it sometimes they just uh they're just they just instantly forgive you you know they just they they understand more than most now it could be very difficult because with such deep understanding you know it can be a little bit illusory you know they can get a little confused you know 
Pisces is very fantasy oriented and so it's kind of like these people when they're in love they can kind of get into cyclical relationships where you know let's say they're being abused or let's say they're having to sacrifice a lot to be with someone and this is usually what they'll do they'll they'll sacrifice a lot to be with someone and it's like this is just natural to them even if the other person is just not truly who they want if it requires them to sacrifice they might they might stick around with that for a while because it's kind of like they're more in love with the idea of being a a savior. You know, these people love to save people. Or feel like they're the ones that are being saved. But usually they like to save people. Now, if there are a lot of places in the chart where, let's say, we have Mars or venus in a very strong sign like taurus or <clears throat> just an earth sign then it'll be easy except for virgo <laughs> this will may oh this will not be a good thing if it was virgo too much self-sacrificial energy okay but let's say there's like some selfish energy to balance out that selflessness then these people will be just very helpful you know they'll be very helpful they'll they'll be very devoted to their family, their friends, whoever it is that they care about. And, you know, just very easy to approach, you know, very interested in the other person, you know, very um, loving. This is truly a beautifully loving placement. And these people can love and give love like nobody else. Ooh, uh, uh. They can give love like no one else, okay? Because they can forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. And um, some people might be like, "Are you? Aren't you? Don't you get tired of constantly forgiving this person? Or aren't you tired of having to be the one to, you know, do X, Y, and Z?" And Pisces will be like. Well, they won't even really think about stopping. You know, they won't think about letting go of somebody that they really care about if they feel like that person can't do without them. Okay. Pisces moon, they'll typically... Um, they'll typically... It's kind of unfortunate because with such a selfless nature... It's kind of like these people will find themselves constantly at the end of their rope, feeling tapped, feeling exhausted, feeling worthless, feeling unappreciated because they tend to give and give and give and they really don't demand much in return. In fact, they probably don't require anything. Okay, these people can really live off of nothing. For long periods of time but um you know it's very interesting though because they can attract a lot of prosperity okay they can attract a lot of goodness in life because people are in love with them okay people are like you are such a beautiful soul you know they can be like the world needs more people like you you know and it's true the world needs more people like moon and pisces individuals um and you know these people are very natural caregivers you know so it's kind of like you will probably always find them getting involved in a in a um career where they're helping others heal you know you'll find them in hospitals or you'll find them in um daycares or you'll find them in um poetry workshops even i mean you know they, they they're like water they go wherever it is that they feel inclined and they're very emotional <laughs> very emotional but like emotional when you least expect it people are very funny you know what though they're not very reliable i would have to say 
they are not very reliable and they can be a little bit deceptive at times too because usually they don't like having to deal with aggression they don't like having to deal with hard emotions they don't like having to deal with hard people and so if you are very tough if you speak in a very tough or harsh kind of way these people will probably move away from you quicker than you realize <laughs> um moon and pisces individuals feel the most safe in in environments where there's peace you know you won't find them in large big crazy parties unless there's a lot of fire elsewhere in their chart you won't really see moon and pisces individuals being that one on stage like yeah boy yeah yeah you're never really probably gonna <laughs> unless they're under the influence of something and as i said they have a lot of fire in their chart but usually you won't see pisces doing this because pisces is not the one that wants to be in the center of attention in fact you know pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and they don't mind being the last they don't mind being at the very end of the line they're kind of like i am where i am you know and they're just like okay they're very easy to please <laughs> very easy to please but the thing is they deserve the world they deserve the world because of how much they give so it's it's very tough this is a very tough placement and hopefully they have some aries in their chart to help balance out this selfless energy because they can be somewhat of a somewhat of a doormat you know these people will love to take advantage of them because the moon in pisces person is not the type of person to make you pay for your mistakes you know they're the type of person that'll forgive like let's say you said stuff to them that was just totally out of line my mom has had friends where <laughs> they said stuff that crossed boundaries multiple boundaries many different times and I would tell her, I'm like, why are you still friends with this person? And she didn't really have much of an explanation other than that. She would kind of just make excuses for them. Um, but the excuses that she would make for them were out of her understanding. You know, so it's kind of like when you don't have any more friends, Moon and Pisces will be that person that'll be willing to talk to you. As this is why I say the world needs more moon and Pisces individuals. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so with all that being said, the way they give love, though, is kind of unreliable. You know, so even though they say that Pisces and Taurus are very compatible energies, I would have to disagree. Because Taurus wants to know what's going to happen, okay? Or, you know, let's say Leo is like wants to know what's going to happen and they want to have fun pisces kind of like let's say let's say there's stuff going on in their lives and they're just kind of going through it and let's say you're like you know what moon and pisces let's go to a party let's go out and do something they're like okay and you take them and then you're trying to introduce them to somebody or let's say you're at a party and you're just like yeah have fun have fun and then you go and you talk to the pisces and you're like why aren't you having fun and they're just sitting there and they're just like <laughs> oh god <laughs> out of nowhere you're just like oh my god <laughs> let's go let's just go let's go morning pisces is they can be all over the place <laughs> they can be so like <laughs> very childlike very innocent very naive energy um but you know what though this is as i was i was gonna say earlier oh yeah one more thing well a couple more things but one thing is they um for example let's say you're a leo individual let's say you have moon venus and leo and you need a certain amount of praise and adoration and compliments moon and pisces their natural inclination is not to do those things because they themselves don't need those things 
And some moon in Pisces individuals will be those people that, if you're in a romantic relationship with them, they probably won't be giving you very much, um, well, you know what, that's not even true. They actually are very good at, um, molding themselves to their partner. So never mind, actually, never mind. But when it comes to how they nurture others, they can forget how much people need. You know, they can forget the, um, because as I say, they live in another world sometimes, and so the responsibilities in life they don't always meet them you know is basically what i'm trying to say they're not always the most reliable and they don't always um have a good hold of like boundaries and measurement and knowing when is too much and knowing when is not enough you know and um you know, sometimes they can even neglect themselves if they've been so focused on others or, um, you know, stuff that's going on around them. So these people really do need people around them who really care about them and their well-being. Otherwise, you will see these people getting their lives sucked out of them by selfish people, okay? Because selfish people will want to gravitate towards them because these people are willing to give. So if you have moon in Pisces and you feel like people are just taking and taking from you, I say try to harness some other kind of energy that is more self selfish, <laughs> self-seeking, you know, you you've got to you've got to define um you know that boundary, you know, between, you know, of of how much you're willing to give and how much you can give how much you're going to give and um yeah so with all that being said i'll i'll talk to y'all soon let me know if this resonated with you i keep getting call after call so i kind of just need to cut this short but um you know moon and pisces i would say you're special you're very special and um you are worth taking a couple of days to yourself you know, don't ever think that you're going to hurt other people by taking time for yourself because everybody needs it. Everybody needs to have something for themselves. All right, peace.